2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachachodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back here with another lesson. I'm in the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, and starting at verse 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. All right, and what is the promise that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh promised to his people, starting with his elect, is a kingdom, a kingdom that's everlasting. All right, a dominion over the whole earth. Okay, where other nations we will be underneath Jacob's knee. Okay, what is the promise? Promises is, is that we be delivered from all of the said perils. All right, the promise is that the wicked will be destroyed, which is Esau Edom who rules the world today. All right, it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And you can see that the Lord is not slack because prophecies are popping like popcorn. All right. Uh, El Manadizak, he, uh, he said in his video, recent video, how a, blood, a blue moon is coming. And, you know, that's just more icing on the cake of the signs that the Lord is showing us before the great and dreadful day of the Lord come. All right. These are all the signs and, and the things that the Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Shah have told us, okay? You know, going to Matthew 24, he said earthquakes in diverse places, rumors of wars, okay? We know that it's gonna be sedition among men, a civil unrest. You can see that the mark of the beast is, uh, is playing its part, okay? You got vaccines, which is injections that Esau, Esau wants to put in our bodies, technology in our bodies, as well as that chip which is the mark of the beast so it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness and you can see that in the in the sit downs in different Israelite camps who are labeled as false prophets through the spirit you know you can see it in their talk they're basically saying the Lord is is a uh, slack all right, by saying Jacob's trouble is gay and that we don't need to look for a release date. That's basically saying that the Lord is slack concerning his promise. Okay, that's just one example. Okay, teaching false doctrines as if we're in the new, we're in the new covenant and we're playing out the new covenant right now. That's another example. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us word why is it long suffering to us because it seems like it's it's taking forever you know so we're long suffering okay we're patiently waiting not willing that any should perish which is of the elect but that all should come to repentance meaning the elect getting sealed Okay, so that they could be on that chariot receiving those new bodies, you know. So, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. And you can see that the Lord is going to come exactly how the scriptures is, is telling us, like a thief. You know, because people, Jake is not looking for, let me say two-thirds. They're not looking for the Lord. They believe in another, another Lord, which is really the Lord of the flies, okay, which is a false guy, okay. They're not looking for Yahweh Shai. You have those who, of the circumcision, know that they're Israelites, men with congregations teaching false doctrines. They're not looking for the Lord neither. So the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. It says, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works therein shall be burned up. And that's by the way of thermonuclear destruction. 
because at the end of the day, the end all be all is gonna be the war of Armageddon, okay? Which is a, a war to end all wars. And the war that's gonna be ended is this war between these elites and these other nations when they go into this third world war. You know, the war is gonna be ended for us Israelites being in prison and fighting to live every day against our enemies. So the Armageddon war is gonna end all wars, okay? And it says, it says in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, meaning this, this place, Babylon the Great, is gonna pass away, okay? Because heaven is also an earth, okay? You got three layers of heaven, earth, space, and you got the fourth dimension where the heavenly father and the spirits are right to well. So it says, and the elements shall melt with fern heat and the earth also and the works thereof shall be burned up. Seeing then that, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, so it said all holy conversation, what manner we should be, we ought to be, right? In all holy conversation. Now, the word here, conversation, means manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. Okay, so it's not talking about in the speech of tongue using certain words, rude words. It's talking about your conduct, your manner of life, the way that you live. And this determines you if you are the elect, all right? You're not gonna be, you know, just living wickedly and then all of a sudden, you know, you're just one of the elect. The elect is uh, living in a certain manner of life right now, a certain conduct, a behavior. So when they do, when it's time to depart, they're gonna be taken up. It says, um, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Now, let me say this too. You do have Israelites who are going to wake up, you know, in the last minute, you know, but that's who the Lord have chosen. All right. Not all of us could play that game, you know, as if, you know, we can just wait to the last minute and then repent. No, the Lord said, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. For suddenly the Lord, uh, roughly paraphrase and destroy you. And I know it's that it's in the Apocrypha, I believe in the Sirach, the fifth chapter. All right, so, you know, you don't want to play that game, you know, being a, a wise ass, because there's guys that I know that play that game that told me similar things like, oh, you know, I know at the end, I, I'm a, I know where to go. It don't work that way, man. All right, yeah, how is, we don't even know if we're the elect. We hope that we are. We hope, we pray, we do this work to give diligence to make our calling an election show. So. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. So if you know that all these things are going to happen and you have faith that it is because you believe in Yahweh Bashami Shai, it says, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, following the ways of the Lord, refraining and uh, from, you know, refraining from wickedness, living your life with a conduct of righteousness. That's all. It's not that deep. You know, it says, verse 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh. Now, I just want to do a quick search on the hasting. All right, because a lot of guys who claim that they're Israelites in these different camps, they must have forgot about hasting. Okay, they're speaking of now, you know, live for now. Don't look for a release date. And uh, this is a... Uh, Haste to haste, make haste to desire earnestly. You know, something that you're desiring fast, man. The fact. Earnestly. If you say something earnestly, you say it very seriously. Yeah, we're hastening in the day because we're taking everything day by day, these prophecies, seriously. We're taking the mark of the beast which is the RFID microchip, seriously, okay? So we're hastening the day. You know, we take 
the Lord's word earnestly. All right. It says, if you say something earnestly, you say it very seriously, often because you believe that it is important or you are or you are trying to persuade someone else to believe it. So that's our job. OK, to haste in the day. All right. To desire to make haste earnestly, meaning with seriously. All right. Teaching his word of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy and sincerity and truth to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. That's that's the truth. All right. Brothers are not getting paid, you know, not paid in carnal riches, but hoping to be paid in that penny, which Yahweh Shai would give to his servants, which is salvation, man. And everything else that comes with salvation, that's up to the Lord. You know, the rewards. So we're looking for salvation. All right. We're looking to get paid with mercy. You know, uh, the Lord being the covert, you know, protecting us in the day of evil, delivering us from the day of evil, from the wicked, you know, hiding us from the secret counsel of the wicked and so on by implication to await urgently, make with haste unto. All right. So it says looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fur and heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So that's what we're hasting in the day for. We're looking for, well, it says, nevertheless, we, right, the Lord's hopeful elect, according to his promise, because this is a part of the promise, salvation, the kingdom. All right, where well, we rule, it says looking for a new heaven and a new earth, which is kainos, when you go into that word, I believe new. Let me see, because it just means to be refreshed, you know, made over new. Oh, am I mixing things? Yep, kainos, there it is, kainos, kainos, new, as respect to form, recently made fresh so we want the lord to refresh he wants we want the lord to hit that reset button and refresh the earth as it was from the very beginning when we lived long lives and we ate fruits and and the foods that gave us nourishment and, and energy you know uh recent unused unworn uh as respect substance substance of a new kind yeah of a new kind right that's basically you know so looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fair and heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may find you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. So this is very important. And I'm going to cut it there. Hopefully this could be a quick hit. But more importantly, edifying to those of the hopeful elect. So I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.